hello viewers greetings of the day today i shall be dealing with you all upon the topic of ragging which has become a menace and how and what are the steps which have been taken to curb it before that we'll just have the brief introduction a nation's power lies in imparting the higher education in students who comprise of all the sections of the society with this laudable goal the higher educational institutions have run to a high standards of higher education but the menace of ragging is cutting this goal so this topic has become a prominence of importance to deal with in the present scenario so if we were to talk about the ragging concept the history or the date back to it goes like this it is basically originally a western concept which was in the form of a social interaction between the seniors and the juniors and more specifically it was dealt in the army schools and in the sports schools to have the interaction between the juniors and the seniors so that the new entrants could have the uh, free uh, movement or interaction with them as to how to go ahead with the further concepts of the uh, movement in the army or in this sports but of late the concept of ragging which has been derived as defined in the various dictionaries has been derived from a ricus word and which uh, actually means to go ahead with causing inconvenience so this act basically or historically also was referred during the second world war and later even in colleges in england they have adopted this concept of ragging hitherto it was only a familiarization between the new entrants and the already existing students or the people in that particular employment the same has been followed even in the indian concept also and more specifically in the educational institutions in india the concept of ragging as such to familiarize with the new entrants by the already existing senior students was followed and this particular concept also has been uh, to be seen in uh, enforcement even in the army also the new entrants into the army also had this concept of ragging or speaking to their new entrants and making them to be uh, familiar with the uh, things which they are supposed to follow once they come into that particular institute but of late this particular concept of ragging has taken a brutal inhuman and anti social form and more so in india in the late 70s the incidents of ragging have taken on a new plunge wherein the two deaths of two freshers in a regional engineering college has resulted in a havoc and made the government of india and the state governments to make certain legislations to make certain notifications ba uh, banning the concept of ragging in the country for all despite the national ban despite so many incidents which have come uh, reported promptly from the several universities and many ordinances have been brought in the states by the uh, concerned uh, governments as such still still there is the concept of ragging which is harassing the fresh years into the new entrants of the students into the higher educations as such so the state governments they have commenced to and continue to issue the various executive orders and also brought in modifications to the already existing orders and the notifications and the enactments and the legislations whatever they have made so to name a few the first state which has formulated the ragging anti ragging act was tripura they have made it as tripura educational institutions prevention of ragging act 1990 subsequently the other states also have followed including the erstwhile combined state of telangana and andhra pradesh where andhra pradesh state has promulgated the prohibition of ragging act 1997 with the amendments further on to it again in 2002 the other states which have made the ragging laws in their states to curb and control this ragging which is a human menace are to cite tamil nadu in 1997 then kerala also has made the enactment in 1998 followed by assam prohibition of ragging act in 1998 maharashtra prohibition of ragging act 1999 
Then West Bengal also has promulgated the enactment of prohibition of ragging in educational institutions in 2000. And to cite of late in even Himachal Pradesh state also has formulated educational institutions prohibition of ragging act 2009. Further on, UP also has prohibited this ragging in educational institutions by formulating a bill in 2010. The Goa state also has promulgated the provision, prohibition of ragging amendment bill it is in 2010. And of late, the state of Jammu and Kashmir has prohibited this act of ragging in 2011. So, likewise, the state governments have made their own piece of legislation to control these ragging in, uh, acts which have been followed in the various educational institutions at large and also in employment resources like in the army, etc. So, here to state what exactly is ragging and how to define or what is the meaning of ragging. To understand that, we have to first of all refer to the two important judgments which have been decided by the apex court of this station, Supreme Court, wherein a public interest litigation was filed in the year 1998 in the form of a writ petition before the Honorable Supreme Court, which was by Vishwa Jagriti Mission. It was filed by Vishwa Jagriti Mission through the president of that particular mission against the central government which is represented by the cabinet secretary and the others and the judgment was delivered in 2000 reported in 2001 and the judgment goes in this manner the context of the arguments of the, in this particular case were the rampant increase of ragging in the educational institutions has resulted not only in abuse of the process of education and also the human rights have been violated of these new entrants or the freshers into the institution which made the uh, which made these institutions ngos to come forward to file a public interest litigation to curb for once for all so prior to going for summer vacation the Petitioners have pleaded the Supreme Court to deliver the judgment or at least an interim order so that by the time the Supreme Court view, comes back for its uh, sessions uh, again after summer vacation, the educational institutions may commence and further action of the ragging may go on. So, upon the pleading of the petitioners, Supreme Court has addressed the uh, public interest litigation filed before it and it has given certain guidelines by asking the UGC to appoint a committee so that they will come into, they will look into the uh, different aspects of the ragging and further give the uh, recommendations and suggestions as to how to curb these particular incidents of ragging in the institutions. So, likewise, UGC has constituted UNI committee wherein it has recommended certain uh, recommendations. I will come to this particular aspect subsequently. So, just I will give you the two important judgments which actually have to be dealt here as to what a ragging is and how inclusive definition Supreme Court had to come into because if a meaning and a definition has to be given, it has to be given at uh, wider range so that any act of the perpetrator of ragging should not be left out. So, Supreme Court in these two cases, one Vishwa Jagriti Mission case uh, has uh, suggested the Union Grants Commission to appoint a committee to look into and recommend the suggestions and to curb and prevent and control. The second important case was which was reported in 2006, which is University of Kerala versus Council Principles of College in Kerala and others. This again was a case representing about the act of ragging in the various in educational institutions and which has become a menace and the governments and the educational institutions had to come up before the Supreme Court asking the permit, seeking the relief from the Supreme Court of India to control this particular human menace of ragging by the senior students upon the new entrance into the institution. Keeping all these particular aspects in mind, now we will just try to understand what exactly uh, ragging could be. And Supreme Court has constituted yet again after this University of uh, Kerala case, it has constituted Dr. K. R. Raghavan uh, committee uh, who was the ex-director of CBI. Uh, further upon, let me just 
move ahead with what exactly do we mean by ragging because there, there is no exact definition or meaning of ragging what it is. So I quote here the definition rendered by the Honorable Supreme Court in Vishwa Jagriti matter which was given in 1999 and I read any disorderly conduct whether by words spoken or written or by an act which has the effect of teasing, treating or handling with rudeness any other student indulging in rowdy or undisciplined activities which causes or is likely to cause annoyance, hardship or psychological harm or to raise fear or apprehension thereof in a fresher or a junior student or asking the students to do any act or perform something which such student will not in the ordinary course and which has the effect of causing or generating a sense of shame or embarrassment so as to adversely affect the physique or psyche of a fresher or a junior student. Supreme Court in this particular case has holistically defined as to what amounts to ragging and under what circumstances the uh, act of a perpetrator can be called as a ragging and what is the fate of the victim. Socially, psychologically, physically the victim is tortured by the senior student of the institution upon the new entrance or the fresh years. So to go further, the other definitions which have been given by the NGOs uh, uh, and uh, regulation, uh, UGC regulation as well with regard to curbing of the menace by the Higher Education Institutions 2009 enactment. It has given again an inclusive definition where it has uh, given it in the uh, nine acts which constitute the ragging as such. So they include like the conduct of the perpetrator. Now whoever is inciting or causing the act of ragging, what is the conduct of the perpetrator also has been taken into cognizance by the definition which has been rendered by UGC regulation in 2009. Further upon, they also have included any rowdy or undisciplined activities. It is very unfortunate to use this particular word of rowdy here, but this has been given as an act where any of the senior student indulges in certain activities which are totally uncalled for and unparliamentary uh, behavior in the education institutions which amount to ill discipline. Further upon, they have also included the acts which disturb or prevents the academic activity of a student. Any student who come to the educational institution, whether it is at the graduation level or a higher education level, they aim at being, becoming success to achieve something in their life and to be a prospectus child of their parents. But because of this ragging, the students academic activity has been curtailed and this has been causing lot of inconvenience. Further upon, they have included any act of financial extortion, forceful burden of expenditure. Of late in the ragging scenario, they have also included the financial aspect where the fresh years or the uh, junior students are compelled to pay the expenditure of their seniors, whatever they have incurred, maybe for the lighter side or even for the academic purpose. Then the further upon the UGC has included the acts like wherein a senior student tries to stop the growth of the junior students also have been included in the definition rendered by the UGC uh, regulations of 2009. Moving on further. The definition which is rendered by the NGOs who have been working to curb and uh, suppress, not suppress, but prevent the action of ragging. One is cure. The abbreviation is cure. It stands for coalition to uproot ragging from education. It is an NGO which has been looking into the various educational institutions to control and prevent the action of ragging. So this NGO has defined the act of ragging as an aggression. It has defined it as an aggression which is committed by the senior student upon his junior student or the fresh entrance, uh, maybe for the academic purpose or in the other activities at large. Uh, 
and they have also cited that this concept of ragging also has is visible even in the hostels which have been attached to the various educational institutions moving on further the another ngo in short it is called as space which stands for society for people's action change and en enforcement space this also has defined this particular ngo also has defined ragging as a systematized form of human rights abuse in educational institutions in South Asia. This particular uh, institution or uh, NGO is working in more specifically in the South Asia and they have described the ragging as systemized form of human rights abuse. Uh, act which started with familiarizing with one another or social interaction has resulted in human rights violation or abuse. That is the definition rendered by the NGO space. So, it is now to say so the act of ragging is not only confined to the educational institutions or the higher educational institutions of late there were certain incidents which have been reported even in the school education at uh, uh, 10th 11 class 11th and class 12th also wherein they have uh, acted the act of ragging by bullying behavior and this bullying behavior in the schools was seen in certain cases directly and in certain cases it was reported in indirect manner. To say so, direct bullying actually is verbal and physical abuse and disrespect to one other person or their property. And indirect bullying, it is actually spreading gossip about that particular victim speaking negative about that particular person or uh, uh, mockering uh, them or marginalizing them and segregating them and uh, th these all con these all acts constitute the indirect bullying apart from this the bullying aspect in the school level education has been seen to have the exertion of peer pressure also the peer pressure actually uh, it starts in the form of showing off like uh, instances like smoking or drinking and uh, uh, apart from these the students also get prey for the psychotropic substances usage uh, act which initially starts as a pomp and show to show off has in fact resulted in the act of human abuse uh, as ragging in the school education. So, to sum up what exactly ragging could be me, it, it may have the different forms, it may have the different traditions of the outlook of what actually constitutes a ragging. It may vary from, uh, uh, from one perpetrator to another perpetrator, but the victim will have one common factor and that is creation of constant fear and intimidation to the freshers. All the acts which have been perpetrated by the ragging, uh, by the perpetrators results in, first of all, a fear psychosis is created in the mind of the victim and moreover, it intimidates the freshers. If any student or any child would like to join into a new educational institution, it creates a fear in their mind if they were to join in that institution, they may have to face the grudge of the ragging by the seniors, maybe in the college or in the hostels if they have to go for residential accommodation. So, in the first part of this topic of uh, ragging, we have dealt with what is the meaning, what are what is the definition which has been delivered by the Supreme Court from time to time based upon the different cases and a holistic view of the inclusion of the different acts of ragging. Thank you.